everyone. Welcome back to the Tarot Tanvi. I am Tanvi. This is my studio. That's my tarot collection. Those are my tarot cards that I'm going to use towards the end. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, so many people actually like everywhere or every random video, every motivational video that you see, everybody talks about how important it is to work hard in life, you know? that you need to spend these many hours working towards your goals you have to spend this working towards your goals you have to you must work hard you must hustle in life you have to sacrifice this to achieve your goals you have to sacrifice that sacrifice this sacrifice your sleep sacrifice you know whatever but how many times do we think about the importance of taking breaks about the importance of just resting about the importance of not working, about, about the importance of going out for vacations. We think that all these things are luxuries and working hard has to be normal, you know, hustling has to be normal. But you know, uh, taking a break, for example, or taking a few days off uh, from work or, you know, going out, going out with family for vacation, taking time out for your family or, or friends or anything. These things are luxuries and not important not the center of your life and not as important as hard work is to achieve your goals i think this is the biggest misconception for example in my profession if i do not take breaks you know from time to time i'm a healer as well so i i do reiki healing and i do mths healing on people healing is a med, med, is an energy medicine so i heal people's auras and work on their chakras now, if I don't take breaks from time to time, you know, after uh, I give people therapy, I read their cards and I heal them. If I don't take time out for myself, if I don't have a good self-care routine, then I would get drained very often. And then I would not be able to help anybody, you know. And I know that you might think that, okay, but this is your profession. My profession is, for example, um, working on data science in, a com in, I don't know, in a lab or... Or, 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 or anywhere, you know, you might be working a job and you think that, you know, work, uh, work is important, but uh, vacations are a luxury. But I would say that it's not at all true. Your vacations, your me time, your self-care is very vital. If you don't take breaks, if you don't take time out for yourself to balance your energy, to relax yourself, to just, you know, feel free, then then you would not be able to work towards a goal. At the same time, you would not be able to feel, be happy in life, you know. I always think about one simple fact that what if, what if tomorrow is my last day? What if I die tomorrow? What am I going to say? What am I going to think that, uh, you know, I've spent an entire life earning money, working hard in a job so that I could have a, a, a comfortable life, right? A happy life. But then when did I live, you know? And I forgot to take vacations, I forgot to spend time with my family. And those are the things that would really be essential towards the end, you know? And we think that life is um, eternal and it's, it's, it's sort of, we take life for granted, you know? And, and that's why I suppose we don't give importance to the fact that how important it is to preserve our energy, to stay happy you know, and to stay healthy. So always monitor, you know, how much time you're giving to you work, towards working hard, you're putting into your goals and understand that when you're not working hard, when you're exhausted, when you're tired of working hard, you need to take break, to take breaks. If you do not take breaks, then even if you're doing, you're following your passion, you know, you're doing the most passionate thing ever, then also you would get so tired and that would feel like a chore and not passion anymore you would not feel as excited and happy doing that work so i hope that this uh, like this was very simple I, I i always tell people that it's equally important to take breaks it's not a luxury it's a basic necessity and it's equally important and that's productive as well you know your resting is productive we think that being productive is only when you do some work when you work hard or you know go to the gym but resting, taking breaks is um, counterproductive. But at the same, but on the contrary, I feel that it's 
super productive to take breaks, go out on vacation, spend time with family, friends, and yeah, take time out for yourself. So, I'm gonna shuffle this deck. I'm gonna pull one card out. Okay, I got two. <laughs> okay, fine, I'm gonna take two. Sometimes it happens, you know, the cards just pop out. So, uh, the first card we had is Nine of Wands. And the second card we have is Death Rebirth. So, um, I know that, you know, when, whenever Death card comes up, this is a major arcana, which means that this is a very significant card. People usually get, get afraid of this card. This, they, you know, they take it very literally. Um, this is actually, for, for me personally, it's one of the most beautiful cards because Death card is also Scorpio energy and I am Scorpio's son. Um, my son's sign is Scorpio. So this is uh, one of the most beautiful cards because Scorpio energy in general. So when I say Scorpio energy it does not mean that you have to be uh, born in the months of, in, from October end to November. Um, you do not have to be Scorpio for this to resonate. Uh, but in general, Scorpio energy talks about transformations and uh, becoming a new version of yourself. And I always talk about this, you know, that uh, just like a butterfly comes out of a cocoon. Okay, so uh, it, the, when the butterfly is, in, is a caterpillar and, and is in the cocoon stage, the butterfly is very, dis, is very uncomfortable and um, feels a lot of pain in that stage. But if you cut that cocoon open um, before the butterfly is ready to come out of it and breaks that cocoon by itself, <clears throat> then you would then the butterfly would die in a few days. So its wings would not be as strong. So um, that's I'm, I'm giving this exa this example in terms of transformation. Uh, that all your problems in your life are like are exactly the size that you need. You know, uh, nobody's problems are big or less. We all have the exact amount of problems that we need. We're always at the right place at the right time with the right people. It's there's nothing. There are no mistakes <laughs> around us. And uh, when we look at things from this perspective, we would be able to come out of things from our own uh, inner strength. And you know, we would look at our problems not as problems, but things that we have the strength to overcome. Um, so um, I hope that was not all over the place. Uh, De so Death Card talks about, you know, coming into a new version, becoming a new version. So uh, I am getting the strong message that uh, your problems are here to shape you and not to uh, push you away from your soul's purpose, okay? They're only to shape you and your problems are always the size that you can face and overcome, okay? So never feel that your problems are too much for you because um, universe never makes that mistake. Don't worry, uh, your, that would never be a mistake. Um, the Nine of Wands uh, talks about uh, exhaustion. Um, it talks about feeling a little tired. I would say like exactly, exactly the same message that I was talking about. This is sort of a validation for that. That take a break, okay? You do not need to work hard, okay? Uh, to stay productive. Taking breaks, resting, taking time out, going to a salon, getting a hair spa <laughs> is a part of being productive. It's not counterproductive, it's not luxury, it's necessity. Um, yeah, so that's all that I have for you today. I hope that this was helpful and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.